Hey, so in this video, you're gonna be guided on how to do the bridge pose uh, in yoga. So we'll be uh, practicing together five different yoga postures that will help really um, firm that technique and actions required for the bridge pose. I'm Irene, a yoga and mindfulness teacher. If you're excited about uh, this video, do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Antara Yoga channel for more yoga, mindfulness and breathing practices. So we'll begin lying on the back and we're gonna just, um, once we're lying on the back, hug the knees in towards the chest. And we're gonna be doing some leg raises so you can reach the legs up towards the ceiling and have the arms alongside the body palms facing down. Now if it's comfortable, both legs can be relatively straight, legs um, extending up towards the ceiling. But if this feels uncomfortable, you could slightly bend the knees to release some of that tension. And we'll start with one leg. So left leg stays up. On the exhale, slowly lowering your right leg down. And then inhale, reaching the right leg up. And exhale, this time left leg drops down. Inhale, lifting that left leg. Exhale, lower through the right leg. And just doing this a few more times, back and forth with the legs. And seeing if you can really allow that movement to come from the belly. So the lower back is grounding and the belly stays nice and firm. When you lower the leg, you could allow the heel to just hover above the ground. So you keep a little bit of that sort of firmness. We'll just do this a couple of times back and forth. And the reason we're working here um, on these leg raises is because the front of the body, so the belly, wants to stay really firm during our bridge pose. Often can get forgotten because we're focused on the back bending element. But by sort of starting your practice with something like this to build core strength, it can really support to engage those right muscles then as we move into the bridge pose. So you can just do this one more time on each side. And then you could try a couple of times with the legs together. You might not lower the legs um, all the way down here. And if you can, legs are straight. If it's uncomfortable, legs can be a little bent. And if you do feel that tension in the lower back, you could just continue a couple more times with those single legs. So we'll just do one more up and down, either with both legs or with single legs. And then you can bend the knees and hug the knees into the chest. So we're gonna do a few rocking back and forth up to sitting. So you can cross the legs around the ankles, exhale, rocking back, lifting the hips up, and inhale, rolling up. And then just doing this a few times, rock back and lift up. And then the next time you come up, you can just come to a seated position. So the size of the body uh, for our bridge pose, wanna be long, but also a little bit active. So we're gonna be working here on opening the size of the body and, and the shoulders, also pretty helpful for our bridge pose. So you can be reaching first your left arm out to the left side, inhale, reaching up through your right arm and exhale, leaning a little over to that left side. Come back through the center, maybe reach both arms up on your inhale, exhale, right hand down, left arm over, and then just doing this a few times, back and forth. You can keep both of the hips nice and heavy here. So as I lean to the left, my right hip wants to stay on the ground. 
And then as I come back through and over to the right, left hip stays grounded. So you can be working, as I said, on lengthening through the side of the body. And maybe as you come to the side and spin the chest open, you can also start to work a little bit more on opening through the front of the shoulders. Maybe pausing a little bit now as you start to come to each side. And then the next time you come to the left, we'll really pause a few breaths. You could be taking these circles of the arm and the shoulder as you lean from side to side. And then reaching the arm up and over. Again, pausing, maybe gazing a little up. And then gradually coming back through the middle, this time right hand drops, left arm comes over, starting by doing a few nice circles of the arm and of the shoulder as you're leaning still to that right side. And then just pausing a moment here, again spinning the chest up, maybe gaze up, and then gradually coming back to sitting again. So we'll stay in our seated position. We're gonna bring the arms behind the back, fingertips reaching towards the hips here. So you wanna press the hands down and see then if you can start to firm the belly and lift the chest up. So this action of the front of the body is really similar now to what we'll be doing um, in that bridge pose. So you're not wanting to kind of just sink and lean back. But you want to see if can you lengthen through the arms, lift the chest up, and really reaching the chest sort of forward and up here. Head can be gazing slightly up here if you like. If it's uncomfortable, chin can be more tucked uh, to the chest. Really keep the belly also firm, spine long. And then gradually coming all the way back up to sitting again. So from this seated position, we're gonna to come to lie down on the belly for our Shalabhasana. So you wanna be lying down, the feet can be about hip distance apart, feet nice and heavy. And the arms are gonna come behind, and if it's comfortable, you're gonna be interlacing the fingers here and pressing the arms back. If it's not comfortable with the fingers interlaced, you could bring back of the hands instead on the ground, and still get that nice opening. So either with the hands on the ground or the fingers interlaced, use the inhale to reach the chest forward and up. We're kind of going against gravity a little here with the upper body, arms reaching back. Again, finding that space in the torso, and see, although we're kind of arching the spine now, can you still keep the belly a little firm? and keep the breath flowing. If you prefer, you could come in and out, so lowering on the exhale, lifting on your inhale, lowering and lifting. Maybe doing this a couple more times. And then if you like, maybe pausing here, still keeping feet nice and heavy, legs long, and then slowly you can relax the hands down Moving all the way back through your hands and knees. And from here, coming to lie down on your back. So coming back to where we started, you can be just hugging for a moment the knees into your chest. And we're finally now gonna move into our bridge pose. So setting up with your feet about hip distance apart, big toes nice and heavy into the ground. Belly is firm like we were working on with the leg raises. Arms are resting now alongside the body. Feeling that heaviness now through your feet and through the shoulders as you slowly on the inhale start to lift the hips up a little, engaging here also through the legs. So if you can press more down with the feet and on that inhale, start to lift a little bit more up with the hips. 
So if it's comfortable, you could roll a little now up onto the shoulders. Arms can stay alongside the body. Or you could work here on interlacing the fingers a bit like we did in the Shalabhasana. So back of the shoulders are heavy, chest is lifting up towards your chin. Belly stays nice and firm here. And then on the exhale, you can release and slowly drop the hips down. Just pausing a moment in that neutral position, slowing the breathing back down. And we'll do this uh, two more times. So again, feet are heavy, arms are alongside the body. Inhale as you start to slowly lift up through your hips. So engaging through the legs, peeling the whole back of the body up, maybe walking shoulder blades together, interlacing your fingers. And if it's not comfortable to be lifted so high, hips could stay a little lower, maybe arms more alongside the body. Staying wherever you are for one more breath. And then slowly exhale, release. And pausing again here, back of the body heavy in your mat. So doing this one last time. So again, feet heavy, shoulders connected to your mat. Inhale, starting to slowly lift up, keep the legs nice and engaged as you lift up through the hips. If it's comfortable, you could again walk the shoulder blades a little together, maybe interlacing the fingers. And seeing if you can press down with the shoulders as you lift up through the chest, through the hips. And there's this, still this heaviness through the balls of the feet and the big toes. And firmness through your belly. Slowly then on the exhale, you can release, dropping the weight of the hips down. And then we'll just gradually, as a nice counter pose, hug the knees to the chest. Take a moment with the eyes closed, softening our breath. You could just rest the hands on the knees, make a few slow circles in one direction. And then slow few circles in the opposite direction. And then from here, when you're ready, rolling over onto one side and finding your way back to a seated position. So thanks for joining. I hope this guide of these five yoga postures uh, was helpful to learn a little bit more on the techniques of how to do the bridge pose. Let me know in the comments how you get on and if you enjoyed the video do give it the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.